Hi, second grade. Here's your literature story for this week. It's called The Pine Park Mystery by Tracy West. And I think it would be a good idea for you to get out your literature book and follow along with me. So go ahead and pause the video and get your literature book and open up to page 154. So The Pine Park Mystery is a play. A play is a story that can be acted out. The time is the present. The setting is Pine Park. This is where the story takes place, which is a typical town park. The characters are a narrator, Lan, Jeff, Mayor Pitt, Police Chief Wilson, Coach Lee, and Miss Rosa. And what you'll see in the story is um, there will be the character's name and then the part that they will be saying. So I will read the character's name and then what they're saying. And what you'll also see is you'll see some things in parentheses. So I'm going to just skip ahead and just show you. So do you see here where we have something in parentheses? I'm going to read that part as well. That's what the character is doing. Okay. So if you can see the text on the video, go ahead and follow along that way. Um, otherwise, you can use your tracking finger. I'm going to go ahead and use this twistable that I have as my tracker. And um, I want you to follow along while I'm reading. Okay. And I'll do this with every literature story that you have. So just make sure to come back and um, check my, my Google site to make sure that your story is there so that you can follow along. The Pine Park Mystery, Scene 1. Narrator. It is a beautiful afternoon in Pine Park. The sun is shining and the birds are singing. It's just another ordinary day. Or is it? Coach Lee, blowing his whistle, runs towards Mayor Pitt. Mayor Pitt. Hello, Coach Lee. It's a great day for a walk in the park, isn't it? Coach Lee, jogging in place. It sure is, Mayor. Well, I've got to catch up with the team. Coach Lee runs off. Mayor Pitt. Coach Lee is always in a hurry. She sits on a bench and removes her jacket. Mayor Pitt, looking at her jacket, confused. That's funny. I thought I wore my silver pin today. I wonder where it could be. Narrator. In another part of the park, Lan and Jeff are playing catch. Lan. I'm bored. Nothing exciting ever seems to be happening around here. Jeff tosses the ball to Lan. Jeff. You're always bored. Isn't playing catch in the park enough fun for you? Lan catches the ball and then drops it suddenly, looking confused. She looks closely at her wrist. Lan, that's funny. My charm bracelet is missing. The clasp was loose. Jeff, maybe it fell off near here. Let's look. Narrator. Meanwhile, under a shady tree, Police Chief Wilson is waking up from a nap. Chief Wilson. There's nothing like taking a nap in the park after working all night on a tough case. Now it's time to get back to the station. A police chief's work is never done. Chief Wilson pats his shirt pocket. Chief Wilson 
confused. That's funny. My badge is gone. It must be around here somewhere. Narrator. While Chief Wilson looks for his badge, Coach Lee runs into Miss Rosa. She owns the bookstore downtown. Miss Rosa. Hi, Coach. Where are you running to? Coach Lee. I'm trying to find my whistle. I had it a few minutes ago, but now I can't find it anywhere. Miss Rosa. That's funny. I'm looking for something, too. Narrator. Is something mysterious happening in the in Pine Park? Lon and Jeff are about to find out. Scene 2. Narrator. Lon and Jeff see Chief Wilson posting a sign on a tree. Jeff reading missing one police badge one silver pin and one whistle lawn you can add one charm bracelet to that list chief chief wilson scratching his head it's the strangest thing i can't figure out where all these objects are missing sorry why all these objects are missing it's a real mystery. Lon. A mystery. Now that sounds exciting. Boys and girls, I want to point out this word to you here. Do you see this word, that? I don't know if you notice, but the printing for that is different than the rest of the words on this line. And I don't know if we've talked about it or not, but this, that's... Um, word is italicized. It's in italics. And it's something that an author will do to point out a word to you. So that word is looks different than the other words because they want the reader to put some emphasis on this word. So let's read it again. Lon. A mystery. Now that sounds exciting. So they want some emphasis on this word. Otherwise, it would read a mystery. Now that sounds exciting. But they want emphasis on this word. Now that sounds exciting. Because remember, in the beginning of the story, Lon was bored. She didn't think um, she, there wasn't that many things that excited her. She thought it, she thought um, Pine Creek was boring. So she's saying that sounds exciting. The idea of a mystery. Scene three, narrator. Lon and Jeff are about to try to solve the case of the missing objects. Lon, we have to think like real detectives, Jeff. Let's start by list listing what we know about this case. Jeff, well, everyone noticed the objects were missing while he or she was in the park. Lon, that's right. What else do we know? Jeff, all of the objects were pretty small. They were all shiny, too. Lon, I have an idea. Let's put another small, shiny object in the park. Then we can hide and see what happens to it. Jeff, how about the key to my bicycle lock? Jeff takes the key from his pocket and puts it on a nearby rock. Jeff and Lon hide behind a tree. A group of kids run across the stage, blocking the audience's view of the key on the rock. So remember, this is a play, so that's what they're talking about. Narrator. There goes Coach Lee's team. But look, the key is gone. Scene 4. Lon leads Chief Wilson, Mayor Pitt, 
Coachley and Miss Rosa to a tree in the park, where Jeff is waiting for them. Lawn to Jeff. Do you have the thief cornered? Jeff, smiling. She's up in that tree. Coach Lee jogging in place. Thief? I don't see anybody in that tree. Chief Wilson, peering into the tree and peers into the tree and smiles. The thief isn't anybody, Coach. It's a bird. Miss Rosa gasps. <gasps> That's Dinah. She's my new pet Mina bird. She escaped from the bookstore this morning. I've been looking for her all day. Looks at Lon and Jeff. How did you two know Dinah was the thief? Lon. Jeff figured out that all the missing objects were small and shiny, so we decided to set a trap. We put Jeff's bicycle key on a rock. Dinah flew by and picked it up. Jeff. Then she flew into this tree. Miss Rosa. Minor birds do like to collect shiny objects. I'll bet you'll find all the missing things somewhere in the tree. Narrator. Chief Wilson calls the Pine Park Fire Department. The firefighters use a ladder to get the objects and bring them down. Chief Wilson. Here they are. One badge, one silver pin, one whistle, one charm bracelet, and one bicycle key. Miss Rosa, holding a bird cage with Dinah in it. I'm sorry Dinah caused so much trouble, Mayor Pitt. I'll try to keep a close eye on her from now on. Mayor Pitt laughing. She certainly caused quite a stir. A day in Pine Park was never so exciting. Lon, I can't wait to come back to the park tomorrow. Jeff, to play catch? Lon, no, I want to see if there's another mystery we can solve. And that's the end of the story. Hope you're having a good week.